Hello everyone, in this video I will be teaching you how to use the grid feature on Canva. So let's go ahead, open Canva, then I want you to find a social media option and click on Facebook first. So for this video we will be generating a blank post. When you click that, Canva will automatically open up the plus button section. If it didn't do that automatically, you can go ahead and press the plus button yourself. Then I want you to click on elements and scroll all the way down at the bottom. This is where you will see the grids option and I want you to click see all so you can see them. If you scroll down further, you will be able to see that there are lots of different grids. So what are grids? Grids are basically photo frames in which you can put different pictures. So I want you to click on one that you really like. For example, I like the one that is over here. So I'm going to click this one. Next, what you can do is you can begin to add the pictures in your frame. So I want you to click on one of the frames inside the big frame and click on this button here. So replace is the button which allows you to add pictures. Now you can use this button, the purple button up, up here to upload more pictures, but I've already done that. So I'm going to click on the picture that I want. And then I'm going to click the next frame and continue adding more pictures. When I am done adding pictures, um, you can change the position of the grid. So I will teach you three different ways by which you can change the position. So the first one is using the button here and you can, you can bring this button upwards and also you can use this button here to push it inwards. The last one is to use the, the dot. So now I'm going to show you how these three buttons will work. So here I'm pushing it up, here I'm pushing it in, and using the dot, I can move it around however I like. So I'm going to put it in this position. Now you might be wondering how you can change the position of the pictures inside the grid. So the, the way to do that is to crop the image. So now there are two ways to do this. First of all, I want you to double click the picture. So when you double click it again, you can move it side to side. You can move it side to side here and you can use the white dot to move it around. And you can also click on the picture and move it around. I will just show you how that will work. So I have double clicked the picture and I'm moving it around like this. I'm moving it up and I'm moving it. You can also zoom in using two pictures, two frames. So I'm going to zoom, I'm going to keep it exactly like this so that I can see the whole logo. Next, I'm going to crop this one. Similarly, I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in a bit on this one because I want to see it closely for this picture I'm going to zoom in a bit more and I'm going to use the front corner now you can see that I have edited the pictures the way I wanted them another way you can crop a picture is by selecting it and manually clicking on this button here which says crop so if you just scroll you can see there's another way to crop another thing you can do with your grid is you can give them solid colors for example if I don't want this picture here I can just make it black or I can make it red like this. So for example, I'm going to use this color in here. So the next thing you can do is if you keep scrolling, you will see this option for spacing. What spacing does is you can change the amount of space between the grid. For example, right now I'm increasing the space, but if you don't want any space, you can keep it to zero. Another option is to flip the image. So this one, I can, I can flip it vertically and I can flip it horizontally. So what this will do is it's going to turn the image upside down. So for example, if the Suara Kita logo was wrong, you can flip it back up. The last option I want to tell you about is the filter option. So I want you to click that and using this option, you can change the color of the image to make it more beautiful. So for example, I'm using this one here. And you can also change the intensity. So if you think it's too bright or too low, you can change it and it's, you can adjust it to your preferences. So that is how to use a grid. Please let me know if you have any other questions and I would be happy to resolve them. Hopefully this video was helpful for you.